come up here because I'm not seasoned like a lot of you all, and, and I'm not a speaker. Amen. And I, and I said, well, Lord, I better write this down because I, I'm liable to go blank. <laughs> but as I begin to meditate, amen, about a subject thought to get me started as to what kind of word and encouragement I can give to the saints, I begin to think about some of the issues that are pressing us not only spiritually, yes. but naturally. Yes. This is the very thing that hinders us from not only moving forward, but it cripples our ability to prosper and succeed. Right. Amen. And no matter what seems to be going on in your life, no matter how right. bad you feel your life is, yes. no matter how feel bad you feel that your life is just a dump, it is because of our fear and lack of hope that keeps us crippled from doing what God has for us to do. It prevents us from moving forward in our life. If we lack hope, if we lack hope, we are crippled. And having hope allows us to repeat after me for such a thought. Fight the fear. The fear. Fight. The fear. the fear. Now just look at somebody and tell them, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just fight. Fight the fear. Amen. Amen. If we lack that hope, we are. We're crippled. I mean, we have to be able to fight our fear. If we lack hope, our ability to fight is crippled. Having courage and hope is the ability to face our fear. Yes. You know, I just think about it, I'm so grateful that I didn't have to live and suffer through during the times of the slavery. If it wasn't for their continued hope, they would not have been able to face and fight their fear. They would not have been able to help us live like we are living today. We are living off of God, off of their God-given hope for us to be free as African Americans. Yes, yes, they were fearful. There's nothing wrong with having fear, but it's what you do with it and how you handle it that counts. Amen. As I stand before you, I'm fighting fear right now. Amen. I stand here and everything is quiet and still and settled and the music stopped playing and y'all are just sitting in your seats looking at me. Amen. I'm fighting. I'm fighting fear. Amen. Amen. But the only thing, you know, I realize that my only solution to face this fear is to fight it. Just, just do it. And with God's help, it is the only way we want to have the victory over that fear. Amen. And if I can go through some of the fear fighters of the Bible, Daniel was one of the administrators under King Darius. This king was impressed with Daniel's exceptional qualities. But his co-workers, if you will, were jealous because the king had plans to make him ruler over the entire kingdom. His co-workers could not find any skeletons in his closet. So they came up with a plan to try to discredit him. So what did they do? They presented the king with a decree for him to sign that suggested that for the next 30 days, no one could pray to nobody else but him. Nobody else could pray to any other God but until King Darius. And if you were caught, you were caught breaking the law. You were be thrown into the den of lions. And you know what? When his administrators brought that degree to him, I'm sure the scripture says, I believe the king was flattered. He was flattered to know that, you know, to know that if we, if they were to pray to him, yes. they would make him feel like that he was God and he was yes. worthy yes. of the praise. Yes. So what did he do? What did he do? He signed uh -huh. that decree and yes. made it yes. law. Yes. And at that point, Daniel was faced with a dilemma. Yes. So because of his strong hope and yes. belief in God, he had no fear. Yes. Fear will hinder you yes. from fighting for what's right. Yes. If you don't stand for for what's right, honey, you will fall for anything. It's easy to lose a battle with fear and without hope. The scripture says in Proverbs 
that where there is no vision, where there is no hope, the people perish. The hope is necessary. It's needed and necessary to make it through any life situation. So whatever your life struggles are, when you know God is with you, you don't need to fear. You don't need to worry. And I know sometimes it's easier said than done. So I want you to know that we've got to continue to fight and hope and know that everything will work out fine. Without hope, honey, you have nothing to hold on to. So when Daniel, so when Daniel heard about this law that was put into place, he, he heard about it. He still continued to pray unto God. He still continued to pray three times a day in spite, in spite of what the law was. Why? Because it was the right thing to do. It was obvious that he had no fear of the law that was put into place. And when you know you're doing the right thing, and when you know you're living according to God's word, honey, he will take care of you. He will. He'll take care of you. You don't have to fear. You don't have to worry. So the king the king, I know, that was hurt because the king was very fond of David. The king yeah. was impressed yeah. with his quality. So he gave David, the scripture says, a chance to get it right, to make it right. Yeah. But Daniel stood his ground yeah. for what was right. Yeah. So the king drove the men. The king told the men, well, he's not giving in. He's not giving in to the law. I'm giving him chances to get it right. 